Our visual analytics dashboard system is comprised of eight different linked views. In this video, we briefly introduce our system. The control panel provides interactive filtering and selection tools. This view provides an interactive time slider that allows users to interactively filter their data over their desired time range. The system provides a map view that utilizes kernel density heat maps to quickly identify hotspots. We also provide a trajectory view that shows the trajectories for the selected individuals. The time series view shows the communication frequency of selected people over time. The communication clustering view clusters the people who frequently talk among each other. The results are presented as a node link graph. Each node corresponds to one group of people, and an edge between nodes shows that there is communication between one or more individuals. Our system also clusters people using the k-means clustering technique using their attraction preference. The results are shown in the form of a line graph, where the x-axis shows the attractions, and the y-axis shows the percentage of time people within the cluster spend at a specified attraction. The results are also shown as a graph, where the distance between the nodes indicates how similar they are. The list view shows the IDs of the individuals that are selected by the user using the different views. The check-in sequence clustering technique clusters the people based on the check-in sequence of attractions that they visited. The height of each row encodes the number of people within the cluster. The color of each bin shows an attraction category. The results of this clustering technique are also shown in the format of a graph. The list views at the bottom show a list of individuals that are tagged as anomalous based on different pre-computed analyses methods. We now use our system to discover Scott's movement patterns. We assume Scott's show attracts many visitors. The two possible places of the show are Stage 63 or Theater 64. We use the map view and line chart of check-in frequencies view. First, we select the time range to be between 8 a.m. and 11 p.m. For Friday and Saturday, we find similar patterns for Stage 63 and Theater 64. But for Sunday, we can see a dramatic decrease of people at Stage 63. We infer that since the vandalism occurred on Sunday, Scott's afternoon show was cancelled. This leads us to believe that Scott's show was held at stage 63. After further exploration using the map view, we find that Scott's show started at 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. as we notice a check-in spike between 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. at stage 63. To determine when his show ended, we explore the time series chart for communication data. We observe communication spikes of messages sent from the Coaster Alley region an hour after each show started, so we believe that his show lasts for an hour. To investigate Scott's activities for the rest of the day, we filter for those visitors that had only a few check-ins. We found two visitors that fit this description. After further investigation, we conclude that these two individuals are Scott's security guards that follow him at the park. We search one of two security guard. We can see Scott enters the park and moves around the park without long stays between 8.40 a.m. and 9 a.m. He moves down between 9 a.m. and 9.20 a.m. and arrives at the performance stage between 9.20 and 10 a.m.